bunch of hardwoods on the back end of the bedding area. Good spot to catch deer browsing in the morning. At least it has been in the past. I didn't have time to find any feed trees. There's red oaks in here. I don't know which ones are dropping or if they are, but just kind of a central location that deer usually feed around in the morning, so we might see something. when I was drawn back. The thing is, that doe didn't move. Her fawn was right in front of me, looking straight at me, so I had to wait to get another arrow. And then, got another arrow knocked and it was too late. I can't believe I did that. I mean, I was almost a full draw and I guess I put my finger over the trigger, which was stupid. Okay, well, it's still early. We might, might see something else.
I got some stuff I gotta do today. If I want to hunt this afternoon, I gotta climb down now. It's about 9.30, give or take. So I'll uh, probably see you here in a little bit. I'm gonna be hunting another spot this evening. I, I think this here's a better morning spot. But, all right, <clears throat> I'll catch you back in the woods later. All right, y'all, remember the white oaks I found a couple days ago? Had that old four point munching on acorns for a while. Well, I'm headed back in. I think it's two days later. And uh, hopefully we see some does. It's not gonna be an easy drag, but we'll try to knock down another big old nanny. I forgot my bug spray. I got a whole new can in the truck and I forgot to spray. Mosquitoes are gonna be the end of me. The mosquitoes got so bad I started me a little smoke bomb. And uh, that'll run them off for now. You can see the wind is going that way. Deer bed on the other side of that ridge. There's the saddle right there. Right there, right there's the saddle. And then uh, the white oaks are on over that way. I'm gonna set up somewhere right here in between the saddle and those white oaks. I guess I gotta put this out before I burn the woods down. All right, let's go pick a tree. All right, there's the white oaks. There's the saddle. That little buck came across here. I'm in shooting range of the white oaks and, and this whole ridge top here. Wind is cutting it close. It's going to be threading a needle, but I think we'll be all right.
did not take the saddle. They actually came up the other end of the ridge. I thought they would do that two days ago, and then that little buck came over the saddle. Might as well take advantage of it being early, get this doe out before dark. I'd like to keep hunting, but I'd also like to get this to processor for deer number two, because I want to donate five deer this year, at least five, uh, to Hunters for the Hungry. I shot a deer yesterday, but I was in a t-shirt. It was so warm out. And when I got home last night, I felt the front blowing in. It was cool this morning, and I messed up on the doe. Y'all saw that. Got a new arrow sharpened up. That's a broadhead I killed my buck with last week. I just sharpened it up and cleaned up the arrow and just killed that doe with it. Now I'm going to climb down and show y'all what these deer are eating on. <sighs> we have the meats. All right, here's my arrow. Find a white oak with lots of fresh caps, and deer droppings, but not many whole acorns. That means they're eating pretty good. This is where they all—they all flocked into it like it was a dang corn pile or something. They all just came over the hill straight to these trees and started eating. And I was up there in that red oak, being as still as I could. They never saw me, not once. That is a big old doe. Holy smokes. It's bigger than the one I killed yesterday. That was actually a perfect entry hole. Look at this. Straight carnage. I'll take it. I'm so thankful she didn't run off that ridge right there. I dragged one up there a few years ago. Swore I would never do it again. Yet here I am risking it. Don't gotta worry about it today. All right, one thing real quick before I go get the cart. I get questions fairly often about what I'm using, what saddle am I using, what sticks, what bow, what arrows, what camera am I filming with. It's on the description of every video, just so you know. This, vi this video, every video after this, every deer season video, even my scouting videos, I've got the camera equipment and stuff listed down below. I've got links to everything, just about everything. Killed this doe out of a tethered phantom saddle. Shooting a bear paradox. I've been shooting Easton Aftermaths for years now. And uh, this is like my third season with the Schwackers. Been pretty dang impressed with those so far. I was always leery of mechanicals because you hit bone, it doesn't go, it doesn't penetrate good, but these, these have been blowing through rib cages like nothing. Stay off the shoulder and they're, and they're good broadheads. And that's the second deer I've killed with that one. I killed three with the same head last year. Hopefully that answers some of your all's questions. If you want to know what kind of gear I'm using, always in the description. But uh, anyways, I'm going to get these leaves off my camera. And uh, I'll catch you all later. Run little one. It's time to get smart. Gun season's coming.